Hello everybody, welcome tonight to our Mythos Mystery Society adventure, now campaign setting, The Miracle Cure. Brought to you by Schmuckies. Schmuckies! Hmm, disposable, sometimes, but it keeps going in your trash can. And uh, as we go through, we're just going to do another really quick introduction of everyone's character, and then I'll just do a quick recap. So uh, let's start with Ty. I'm Ty, uh, you find me at Ball Umbrella on Twitter, and tonight I am playing... Graham Adler, the investigative journalist. Nobody solves a problem like Maria. You're up next. Oh, hey, that's me. Hello. I am Maria. Uh, I can be found at Happy Capster on all the social media platforms these days. Um, and tonight I am playing Dr. Willow Jones, a uh, doctor who's also very inexperienced in a lot of things. A doctor who's getting hotter by the minute and has two dates. Um, during today's session. And uh, Emma, take it away. Hello, uh, I'm Emma, <laughs> and you can find me at MK Hansen on Twitter. Um, and uh, tonight I'm playing Annabelle Cosgrave, who is also a doctor, but you sure wouldn't know it. Doctor of love, perhaps? Doctor of vibrators, actually. Oh, mm. yes. Mm. Well, uh, an engineer is needed for everything. In my <laughs> life, I did meet a cardboard engineer. The guy who engineered cardboard and the functions for it. Yes. So, vibrators are probably more complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Which way? Is it to shake? Does it kind of rumble? So, <laughs> as we... <laughs> as we do a real quick recap of what's happened. Uh, our last session, we had... Man, what happened last session? There was a was a trip to IKEA last session. Yeah, it was last session. Nothing was. happened. That's it. There was a trip to IKEA, and while at IKEA, enjoying the cranberry chutney and Swedish meatballs, uh, Dr. Willow Jones was uh, injecting drugs into her body in uh, a police station, and then left, and was getting hotter by the second as um, as she parted there. Then they all got together, and uh, I don't know if it was a barbecue, but they ended up meeting up together and making a few phone calls uh today on maria's agenda so dr willow jones she has a date with ted dean the uh officer that she knows that is part of the fda um over at our brunch location i don't remember the name of our brunch location. oh i sure do it's called the belgian dip it's a coffee the belgian brunch dip. Place. Oh, mm -hmm. sounds, that sounds really good mm -hmm. and uh she has an appointment with, doc with uh vice president jim conaty at the z med bio location and uh, they put the rest of the vial that was still in the syringe in a safe. And I think that was it. Oh, I have webbed, webbed, webbed hands now. Slightly webbed hands, yeah. Silver in her eyes. And silver and stuff silver in my in eyeball. Eyes. Yeah. I'm getting more attractive. Oh, and then uh, someone. Oh, wait, no, you don't need to know that yet. So here we are. Uh, <laughs> refresher did you guys like go to sleep and now we're waking up or was it like we we went to sleep and i yeah. woke up because I, I have written down here in caps dream they speak into me <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah I don't what that means yeah, i think it's brunch morning right now i think it's brunch morning yeah yes you heard you heard the voices that told you uh that you could be more oh uh, yes they were they were offering me power beyond anything i could imagine pretty much yeah essentially good so here we are, it's morning, and you guys were getting ready, I believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and I... you guys were set up, I think you were on your way to the Belgian dip, because uh, what was agreed upon is Annabelle and uh, Graham. Was it Graham? Man, I made that up. It, my name is Graham, yes. Graham, okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> You made it. Up. I am. What do you mean? <laughs> I, well, I, I just kind of came out. And my and Graham were meeting at the uh, Belgian dip with you, but they were going to kind of be off to the side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's say uh, you've just arrived in the parking lot, and we'll take it from there. Fantastic. I don't think I have seen Ted Dean like physically in a while. I feel like we haven't really crossed paths in uh, years. Um, so I would go in and try to find, because if I remember correctly, he texted, uh, and was like, when, where, what's, where are we meeting? 
Um, so I'm just looking for uh, someone who is alone looking for someone else. Someone who I think, from my brief recollection of what Ted used to look like, let that guide me into <laughs> the Belgian dip. <laughs> So you walk into the Belgian dip and uh, yeah. you look around, you see in the, not quite the corner, but in a booth along the side near a window, you see a man that's wearing a, a collared uh, shirt, like a dress shirt. He has a tie. He's got a little bit of a pot belly, very thin hair along the top, combed over, kind of sitting a bit like this. And there is a bottle of champagne and pitcher of orange juice on the table. And he's kind of looking over his shoulder, checking his watch. Is this how I remember, Ted? Um, yeah, I won't even make you make a check for it. He looks a little familiar, but he looks a little thinner up top on the hair hairline, uh, quite, quite a bit fatter. <laughs> <laughs> you remembered kind of a handsome guy that was kind of you know, suave, but he's apparently lost all the suave. But yes, well, he does. Maybe the familiar. suave just moved inside, so you know, it's fine. Never, never know. It's fine. Um. Okay, I'll kind of like cast a glance backwards to the other two, and uh, make make my way in that direction, and like cautiously, just like Ted. Willow. <laughs> Willow! Wow! I mean, <laughs> wow! You, I, you look great. Uh, please, uh, here I, I took the liberty of getting us some mimosas. If uh, <laughs> start the morning, uh, please, please take a seat. And he stands up and offers you the bench. Uh, it's, uh, okay. Um, is this like? Are there two benches like across from each other? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, she will say, oh. Well, thank you. And we'll slide in the bench on the opposite side of him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and he's, he sits across from you. Uh, you two, you're greeted by the hostess. Um, hello, welcome to the Belgian dip, uh, where we have Belgian waffles and coffee. I'll take She's like one 16 of years of old. Well, this is, the, this is to Annabelle and uh, Graham. Oh, just kidding. Exclusively? Yeah. It's just, just the coffee and waffles? I mean, there's more stuff on the menu. I, I take a look at the menu. What's on there? Are you? Do you need a seat, or do you just want to look at the menu? Oh here? yes, yes, please. we'll I take. I wasn't yeah. sure this is a. Let us. Let me yeah. see you to your seats, and she grabs uh, the menus, and then she starts walking you to the other side of the restaurant towards the table. Is she walking us to a, a table where we are still going to be able to see Willow from where we're sitting? A, a bit. Uh, you'd be able to see, you're probably going to be 30-ish feet away. Is it busy? Nah, medium. Not quite. Not slamming, but... Is there a bar? No. Oh, man, there's not a, the not like a coffee bit. bar? Okay, well... That's fine, as long as we have... Yeah, be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have a clear line. I'd say a clearish line of sight over a few tables. That's fine. Okay. Well, yeah. And she takes you a seat and hands you menus. And let's go. While you while you look at the menu, we'll go to Dr. Willow Jones. Dr. Willow Jones, um, you're with Ted, and he's across the table for you. So, uh, wow, it's been a while. Here we are. You look you look great. Thank you. You mentioned that. Um, I yeah. <laughs> what what you you mentioned that? Well, obviously you're mildly out of a job right now, but. Um, what what have you been doing between school and now? It's been a well, while. Yeah, yeah, you know, after working with the, the FDA, it kind of consumed my life, so I didn't really, you know, have a, any relationships much outside of work, and now, uh, well, I haven't had work lately, so I've kind of been taking the time to get to know myself, you know, like just explore a few things, and yeah. You seem very lonely, and I'm very sorry about that. Yeah, well... Um, so... 
I am a bit, but besides that, what I've done is I've actually taken the opportunity and I've done a little bit of research uh, for you in regards to a few things. And, uh, well, I, I figured maybe you find a few things interesting. I call it a couple favors, uh, just kind of about the Z-Med bio thing. And um, oh. I figured maybe after brunch, I, I could show you, if, you know, kind of what I picked up. Uh, I, you didn't have to do that, but I do appreciate it. Well, you know, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, and he pours you a mimosa and pours himself one uh, to adulthood where uh, apparently everything's depressing. <laughs> that I do agree with. And I will choose. They drink, so uh, Annabelle and Graham, the waitress, approaches. So, um, yeah, welcome to the Belgian dip. Uh, may I recommend the uh, the Belgian latte, which has cinnamon, uh, honey, and a small pat of butter, actually at the bottom of the cup, and then we 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 do espresso and finish it off with a bit of cream. I'll have one of those for sure. Excellent. And uh, are you missing anything to get you started? I'll have black coffee. Black coffee. Uh, do you want straight espresso or do you want brewed American? I'll take a double espresso. Double espresso, excellent. And uh, do you need a little more time with the menu? No. Uh, any recommendations, suggestions? No, just coffee? What's the biscuits and gravy scenario like here? Oh my. Some gravy? Biscuits and gravy, you? like the combo. Biscuits and gravy, Are absolutely. Are they good? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're fantastic. Oh. So the, the biscuits are finished off with a honey cinnamon butter, and then on top of that, they pour the sausage gravy, and uh, they kind of kind of melt it into a big, a big mess, but a delicious mess. <laughs> a delicious mess, my name in college, yes. All right, I'll do one of those. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, one delicious mess. Um, and it comes to the side, uh, you can either have one Belgian waffle or a couple flapjacks. I'll do the waffle. Excellent. That's what we're known for. And you, miss? I'll just have a Belgian waffle. A Belgian waffle. Do you want the the... The Belgian waffle with strawberries and whipped cream, or do you just want straight waffle? Typically, it comes with the topping. We also serve a great Dutch baby. I've heard about those from a friend of mine. Um, mm -hmm. uh, no, I, do you have powdered sugar? Of course. I will. Ow, you son of a bitch. Sorry. Well, um, excuse me, miss. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll, I'll have a, a powdered sugar on it. Powdered sugar, very nice. And we have four different flavors of syrups, and I'll, I'll bring them out to you as well. And she leaves. Yeah, four different flavors. Flavors? Four different flavors of syrup, indeed. Ew. Well, <laughs> Miss Vermont. <laughs> um, anybody, anything else they want to add to this scenario? You want to talk to the waiter, waitress, discuss your food. Dr. Willow Jones, any questions for uh, Ted in particular? Um, not really anything um, pressing. I think the longer the longer that the like general uh, fluff conversation lasts, the more and more she's like <laughs> fiddling with things on the table. Mm -hmm. um, uh, she's, she's really just kind of waiting for it to be over so that we can get she, she can get the uh, the the other the, the information that he was talking about but she's trying very hard to be interested to be involved in this conversation because she does genuinely feel a little bit bad for him mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, roll, roll for me either a persuasion a charm or an appearance check I'll give you an option Ah. Uh... Oh, why do you you bless me with such great options? I'm gonna roll appearance because it's twice as high as any of my other options. Terrific. Oh, I'm going to spend some luck to make that 39 pass. Awesome. 37. <laughs> luck spent. He, he feels like you're sincere and that you're interested. 
down. <laughs> it's very hard to do those things. It's very hard for Willow to do those things. <laughs> Willow does a lot of talking to computers and not really a whole lot of talking to people. Mm. I mean, well, well, this has been the best date I have been on in ever. Uh, but it's been great. I mean, the coffee here. I mean, the Turkish is great just with the grounds and the bottom wonderful what did you think i i really did enjoy this place um the it the uh, it's 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 been lovely to catch up with you again and um these dutch babies are humongous there's no way i could ever finish one of these again well they say you could eat it for days just oh, I know, and he have... leans back and his phone beeps and he looks at it. Great, so. Uh... Is it can we... all right? Yeah, can... can we talk outside? Uh, sure. I mean, I, I don't want to sound weird. But do you mind, like, maybe yeah. it's a, where it's a little more private? Can we sit in my car for just... Um. Does your car? I'll sit in your car and. That that you can yeah we can sit in, my car. Just kind of like, look towards the door and hope as I'm looking towards the door I catch eyes with either of them. They they are just enamored with their food. It's the best Belgium. No, they probably catch your eye. <laughs> good, good. I'll just turn and I'll just like raise my eyebrows towards the door. <laughs> Uh, as soon as I see that, I'm gonna get up and give her, like, I'm gonna look at Willow and kind of, like, tilt my head back, and I'm gonna walk toward the bathroom. Cool. Um. Uh. I. Um. I will see that and say, actually, if you give me two seconds, I'm going to run to the... This Dutch baby's not sitting very well with my stomach. Um, mm -hmm. just, just give me two seconds, and I'll, I'll, I'll meet you outside. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, that sounds... I don't, want, I don't want to sound weird, but I don't know. I, friend messaged me. I think I need to hurry. I, I mean, go, go ahead and go. Just uh, I, please, I will... if you can, don't take too long. Sure, sure. So, yeah. Go to the to the the rest area the rest room powder room uh um so and i annabelle and i assume you're standing there and then you're not i'm like literally as soon as you walk in the door i'm just waiting <laughs> okay <laughs> i don't know where we're going we're going outside i don't think we're going anywhere um got a strange message from one of his friends apparently needs to hurry somewhere so, um are, are you like leaving together? I think we're leaving together. I think that's what's happening. Are you going? Are you getting in his car? No, he's getting in my car. Oh, good. Hmm. Mm hmm. Um, I don't know why he has told me that he has done some uh, uh, digging into our okay. situation. Do you have um, your phone? Uh, I think so. Yes. Yes. Okay. Just have it out and have my number ready. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll follow right behind you. Good, 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 good. Is this what friendship feels like? I feel like this is what friendship should feel like. People who follow other people. Yeah? Good. I'm gonna turn around and walk out. <laughs> She's like still <laughs> standing there trying to process that, like, people who follow other people? What? <laughs> And Annabelle will return to the table and mm -hmm. let um, Graham know what's happening. I'll right. just head uh, straight towards the, the, the out of doors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uh, he, he's, stand yeah, he's standing right by the door. You can see he's kind of waiting with his jacket. Uh, and yeah, I'll just meet up with him. Okay, yeah. so you guys walk to your car. Um, is everything all right with your with your friend? I don't know. Um, uh, let me. This whole situation is 
it's never sat right with me. I mean, it may surprise you, but I don't really have any, like, friends or a life, so work is kind of everything to me, and I've, I've made a couple close acquaintances, and um, I had one do some research for me, and let me let me share with you what, what he sent me first, and then what he did afterwards. Um, so I had him look into Zemed Bio for a while, and actually he knew someone a bit on the inside, which was nice. And apparently all the evidence um, that they've given to the FDA on their trials, it's all been, well, falsified, or it's, it's altered from their original reports. And he sent me a copy of the regular reports, and they're, I mean, they're not great, I guess. Right, it had some very unusual properties, this this drug, right? Something about like triggering a cell mutation within the test subjects, which is not something the FDA is um, approving by any means. He sent me, he sent me a video. Um, it's kind of disturbing to watch. I'm not sure if you want to see it. Um, um, Ted, I'm a surgeon. I've seen pretty disturbing things. Uh, he hands you his phone. He has a play button on it. Dude. <laughs> you see uh, two uh, two men in lab coats and a laboratory rat in a cage. And they say, test number 269. Um, we have injected this laboratory rat with the uh, tertiary biocyte. Um, this was administered six minutes ago. As you can see, he has the one rat in there and he's put a few more regular rats in there. Um, the rat um, immediately starts acting very aggressive and tries to mate with all the other rats in there. You continue to watch. And then at minute nine, there's a spontaneous rapid mutation of the form, uh, each subject changing in its own unique manner and you see the one and they put a few different samples in there the first one is back starts to get haunched and starts to grow inside the other one starts to grow longer and flatter one's starting to look almost cat like while the other one's starting to look and turn almost snake like at the 14 minute mark the subjects can no longer be called rats but continue to interact aggressively using newly grown organs um, in what can only be presumed to be unusual mating practices and you could see just very now it's more like other animals with rat like features a snake with rat like features a cat with rat like features something like a weasel just turning into a bigger rat and they're mating with one another in a bizarre fashion um, at this point uh, if you're getting close to the end of the video it's about a 15 minute video the report closes um, the subjects have ceased to interact with one another. Instead, they begin to attack the cage and the laboratory, um, the lab men in the white coats. They're attacking the cage, trying to get out, and they're bending the bars, breaking the glass. Um, it's whereupon, uh, now we must terminate the subjects and the experiment is ended. And what you see is a sledgehammer and the man walking towards the cage and opening it up. And the video stops. Make a sanity roll. Uh-huh. All right, all right, all right. Where is that? There it is. Wait, there it is. I succeeded. You succeed, roll a d6. One. Oh, take two sanity points of damage. Ooh. Uh, she'll just kind of look at it. I assume we're just sitting, sitting in my car. Yep. Um, and, uh, just blink a lot. <laughs> um, and I think she goes back and she just kind of, like, rewatches key points, like, when the, um, the test subjects, like, physically change, um, at what point, like their their aggression starts at each other and things of that nature, trying to 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 get down as many specifics as possible. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, if you'd like, I'd send it to you. If it would, do you think it'd be any help? That 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 
that would be terrific, actually. Uh, he, he sent me a few more things. Are you looking at Ted now? Yeah. He has blood coming from his eyes here and here. Ted? What's wrong? Uh, I'll <laughs> turn it, uh, uh, I uh, if I still have his phone, um, I'll turn on his camera to like selfie mode and just turn it and point it towards his face. Oh, oh, goodness! And he's grabbing just like napkins out of his glove. My head started to hurt. But this has never happened before. This has never happened before. Yeah, I... This is embarrassing. I'm so sorry. I'm. This is not good, Ted. And I'm going uh, to. <laughs> we need to get you to someplace. Hold on, hold on. Immediately. Wait, wait, just wait, just a second. Let me. This company took everything from me, and I'd like to see this through. I don't know what you're on to, but be careful, okay? Uh, okay, right. Um, he sends you uh, a document. This is a PDF. Let um, me text it to your phone. Uh, I kind of. <laughs> I'm not really. I want to keep him in my in my mm -hmm. eye range, my sights, um, because I'm now scared that he has some sort of brain trauma, some sort of hemorrhaging happening in his brain box. But I'll like hold up just to see what the like the title of the PDF is or something like, uh, just a brief glance as to what it is. Uh, so you open it? Yeah. And it's a client report. First name, Chuck Ogle. Dash. Deceased. Name under that. Ted Dawson. Dash. Active. The next one. Willow Jones. Dash. In consultation. The next one, Garfield Fox, dash, active. Will, your, your name's on this list. It sure is. Are you working with them? Is there something you haven't told me? No, <laughs> I can guarantee you know more about this than even I do. <sighs> we need to get you to a hospital now. I'm going to turn on my car and I'm going to- He start. looks up to you. His eyeballs are now protruding from his head and blood's coming out of both parts of his eyes. Oh, my head! Yeah, I'm gonna start driving. I'm gonna start driving really fast in my really fast car. <laughs> <laughs> she starts driving. Yeah. Um, as she takes off, Annabelle and Graham, <laughs> what are you doing? I guess, fo I mean, we, we followed her. Wasn't that the plan that you told. Did, did we need to pay? Oh, well, yeah, correct. Wait, 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 leave. <laughs> no. Get no. boxes. Get boxes for the waffles. Pay. Uh, who, how did we get here? I have a Yaris. <laughs> what do it, you drive? A motorcycle. Well, the Yaris it is. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it here. I'd say between um, getting your, your gift boxes and paying as you walk out, by the time you approach your car, she just takes off. Right when you get to your car. Like, peels out in the parking lot and starts to drive away. Graham will look to Annabelle. What was... Was that the plan? Was she going to leave, leave with No, get in the car. You have to drive. Can oh. you drive fast? Are you a good driver? I mean, I'm... Give me one second. Let me look out of. If you uh, had to put a number, if I had to put on a it. number out of a hundred, I'd say, well, well, forty. Forty. Uh, great, good, wonderful, fine. She gets in the car. Uh, he 
puts his key in the ignition and looks at you before he drives. You do realize he drives like a sports car. This is not that. Do you know in the amount of time that it took you to told me that we could have started moving and following her? <laughs> and sighs and starts driving. Okay, starts driving. We cut back to the car and now at this point you're driving but he is in his seat and he's going back and forth like this in his head he's like oh my god he keeps grabbing at ears bleeding eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head and his entire head is just beat red make a drive check oh i knew i knew you were gonna say that yeah he's Uh, going crazy it's Drive auto. Good, 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 good. <laughs> no, you did not, not make it. I sure, I sure as hell did not. I got a 92 out of 25. You are, you're swerving all over, but you can't help but keep looking at him again and again and yeah. again. And yeah. you run into the guardrail. Good. As you're trying to enter on the highway, and you're skidding right across it, and you go off the grass and go down, you will suffer some damage. You suffer two points of physical harm as your car crashes into a tree. Racked a bit, you look over and you see him, and he's shaking and going. <gasps> Oh my God. Then he stops very suddenly. Look upon the world, Dr. Jones. We can make it better. Freed from all uncertainty and the failures of humanity. Come join us. And his head explodes. Blood smatters the windshield, hits you across the face, an eyeball maybe hits you in the cheek, your one- windows, your wind windows, just everything is covered with blood. Go ahead and roll sanity for me. Gladly. Gladly. Oh, that's a hard fail. Roll a d10, miss. <laughs> Five. Five takes seven points of sanity. Good. Good, 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 good. At this point, um, is there anything you want to do immediately, Dr. Willow Jones? Nope. At this point, shit, uh, shit no good. Grand and Annabelle, you kind of, you see off to the side all the tire markings. Go ahead. Make, I don't want it to be spot hidden. It'd be too obvious for a spot hidden. Go ahead and make an intelligence roll for me. Grandma and Annabelle. Yeah, I got seven. You both see very obviously that there's been some sort of accident as you tried to follow this car that peeled out of the lot. And as you slow down, you can see Dr. Jones's car against a tree, blood covering all the windows like it's been painted on from the inside. Yeah, we'll pull over and exit the vehicle and and check Mm -hmm. on Mm it. Ew. Go ahead, so you make it down to the car and... Yeah, I I probably would start coming out of the car as you're, like, making Mm -hmm. your way down. (laughs) Just wrenched. It's like, carry. Both of you make a sanity roll for me. I'm scary. I made it by one. <laughs> made it by one. I <laughs> failed by a lot. Okay, so Annabelle roll a d6. Graham roll a d4. Two. Two, so three total. Four. Four, six total for you. No. Yeah. And here you are. Oh, are you all right? Do you need to go to a hospital or something? What happened? 
Uh. Uh. Uh, that had exploded. From the impact, or? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, n- no, um, no, he, 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 his head exploded. Um, I will relay the, the last few things that he said. Um, Mm -hmm. and how much of that do you share? How much of it? Like, of, do you just share the, what he said to you literally moments before his head exploded or do you share everything that he, um, in the, in this moment, just that the last, like, okay, (laughs) he was in pain, stopped screaming, said some weird shit in normal voice. And then, boop. Sorry, what did you do? Boop. (laughs) Popped out of existence. (laughs) Gross. Mm. You're like friends with the police, right? Because, you know, there's a dead guy in your car, and they're going to be showing up probably sooner Mm. than later. Mm. Um, What does the terrain look like where we're at right now? It's like the turn off of a highway, just like those random kind of long patches of grass. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Are there like cars nearby? <laughs> yeah, cars are gonna start driving. Cars yeah. are driving by, but great. It's Good. far enough away. The only thing that's actually out of place is the fact you guys are kind of pulled over on the highway. It's not that. And my car's in a tree. Blood. Well, people can see the car, but they're too far away to really like get a sense that there's blood soaked inside. Mm-hmm. Lord. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, to, to answer to answer your question, I am not in fact friends with uh, the police. Um, this was probably going to be a bad thing. Uh, I don't think we should be here. Um. Hmm. Uh, uh, can we, did you, how did you get, how did you get here? I mean, you feel free to hop in the yards, but I mean, that's okay. your, your car with your license plate. They're, they're going no, to know. I don't, I, I don't, do, can you make a car disappear magically? No, nope. all right, let's leave the crime scene, that seems good. <laughs> jumps in the yards. <laughs> uh, uh, da, 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 da. I don't, hmm. Um... Yeah, I don't. No, she probably would would call it in, you know, with some logic that you've thrown in there. <laughs> a crime scene, as one would put it. Um, just say that there's been an accident. Uh, rough location of where they're at. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't even dodge the police necessarily. I guess. I'm not playing a shady character. Um. Yeah, I, I think I, I think that she would actually she would call it in. So you called in and stayed till the police arrived. Uh, yeah. Unless Annabelle or Graham would do otherwise. Do you guys stay too? Everyone stays. Or advise otherwise. Uh. I don't necessarily think the police need to put all of us together right away. Maybe we just drive like up the block around the corner. You can give us a text when you need to pick up. Well, they're probably going to take her in. She's covered in blood. Sure, it'll be fine. Yeah, she got out of police once before. It'll be I, no big deal. Sh- I won't inject anything into my body this time to get out. I have a lot of questions about it, both it. of you, but um, okay, we'll go and stay nearby, and you let us know. Uh, I'm sure that will be easy for you when they take your phone away. You can give it to us. 
But that's useless, because the point is that she should contact us. I can memorize my cell phone number. Give us, they, they have to give you a call. That's the whole police thing, right? <laughs> yes, yep. I'm sure they follow those rules. Oh, you can take it, just offering. No, I'll, I'll, I, I, I would rather not. Um, she's actually just gonna, I think she has her bag with her. She would just give the bag to Graham um, and her phone to Annabelle and say, he sent me some things that you might want to take a look at um, whilst I am away. If I'm away. So she's just gonna like <laughs> to kind of wipe away some of the <laughs> it, the the ick off of her as much as she can. Uh mm, 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 mm. Uh, clarifying question, did he send you those things to your phone or to like, like as a text message or to like an email? I think he just texted them to me, right? Just he just has to, yeah, he's just, just like, sending this shit. Um, well, so like, uh, let, let's, let's put a bit of realism on it, like a 15 minute video, it was probably more emailed to you or like uploaded to like a Google Drive kind of deal, but mm. the PDF was just sent to you. Mm. Actually, he well, he didn't. Yeah, send... no, he did. He did send yeah. you the video. Yeah, before yeah. things. He didn't send the PDF. He, didn't. he sent. He texted her the PDF. Okay. But he he did yeah. ask if the video was going to be of any help, and she said yes. So she did send that. Yeah. He okay. did send that. Yeah. Um. Okay. 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 Fine. Uh, this seems like a flawless plan, and I think that you'll be it's, fine. It's, I'm it's I'm sure not, if there's not. already an in with the police, that you'll be completely safe there. Uh... Mm. Do you have a GPS tracker or anything like that? Inside my body? <laughs> no, I meant like a piece of technology, <laughs> like a phone. A different phone? Another phone? Do you only have one phone? Uh... I... Kind of, I left my work phone at home. I didn't need it... right now. You know, I had a friend. She had many phones. I have learned since to have... lots of burner phones. See, that... that... that I have never needed more than one. Um, Evan. At this point, a few cars have stopped. Fuck. On yes. the, <laughs> the off ramp, and a guy gets out of his car. Hey, y'all, all right down there? Do you need a tow? We're fine. Thank you so much. Uh, we're, we're okay. Thank you. You can move along. We don't need your help. Do, Thank do you. Do you have so a phone? You want us to call the police? Nope. We got it. We've already called them, actually. Thank you so much. Make a, uh, whatever a lie check is, or <laughs> whatever it is. Can I use fast, fast talk? talk? Can I use fast talk? That, you could fast talk, yeah. The fuck did I put my dice? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's a 19 out of 50. Okay. And he says, oh, well, all right, well, take care now. <laughs> you too. And it gets down, but now you've noticed there's traffic because you know what happens with an accident. Everyone oh. slows down to look at it. Gotta peek. You have to get in the car. It points to my car in back. Yep. Okay. You're covered in blood. Okay. These people don't need to see that. You're a surgeon. Just go sit. Just close your eyes and pretend, pretend you're in a pool, or a blood pool. We gotta um, go. Right. Yeah. Do you you go. I'll figure something out. I'm sure. Okay. As you said, it'll be fine. And I'll get uh, back into my car. I'm. What, I'm. What, 
Make I'm a gonna sanity roll. What a horrific idea. <laughs> Just <laughs> we're the best. I succeeded. Nope, succeeded. I would have succeeded if it didn't before. Never mind. <laughs> Guess what? Roll roll a D ten. Oopsies. <laughs> That's a four. Um, okay, that's six more sanity damage as you open up your car and blood literally comes out as blood is pulled in the, 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 the floor of your car, leaks out of your car, and there's a corpse there with no head, just leaning, buckled in, exposed neck towards you, blood still leaking out of it. Mm -hmm. Congratulations <laughs> on the best choice you've ever made. I'm learning how to listen to my friends, my new friends who would never do anything bad to me. You have, you should. <laughs> Grab driving to away. See out the windows <laughs> of your car. Listen to the occultist. So I gotta tell you, don't listen That's to fine. the occultist. <laughs> and um, uh, so, Graham and Annabelle, I'm driving away, away, please. I, or... I'm gonna. I well, Graham, would you like to call the police? You probably shouldn't do that. No. Uh, oh, I already please. did. I think she. Yeah. You okay. did. We'll look yeah, okay. I already yeah. did. Yeah. I am going to really quickly. Forward the PDF to one Does of my phones. Yeah, I think she still only has gave, Graham's number. Okay, I gave, I mean, no, I gave, her, yeah, I gave her my phone. So I have, yeah, I yeah. have that number. Yeah. So, but also I know my number. So I, I send it to myself, and then I delete that text message and the sent message. Okay. And then I turn the GPS tracker on and give her back her phone. Okay. Like while she's in the car, do you yeah, go back? Do you run like, back? Do you knock on the like window before the, before the door closes. Hello. I'm sure. I'm sure it's. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> we'll make sanity girls all day. I mean, yeah. there's a car with yeah, I mean, blood soaked windows. Hey, here, can you take this, please? Like, you're sitting in, in I'll take it right now. I'll take okay. it. Yeah, yeah. All right, and you guys drive off. Yes. Great. And uh, Dr. Willow Jones. The police arrive, mm -hmm. and uh, they come. Ambulance is there. Doctors are there. Not doctors. Um, EMTs are there, and they get you out of the car. Mm -hmm. And uh, they see that you're injured. Go ahead and make a spot hidden roll for me. What? Nineteen out of twenty-five. You see, as they're um, escorting you to the ambulance. Um, the police are kind of rushing by, and you see one of the paramedics take his hand, hold it up to his chest like this. And like a symbol, like this. The police officer does it back, turns around, and walks towards the car. And they continue to escort you to the ambulance. And they're taking all your information, asking the normal questions, you know, uh, what, what is your name, occupation, do you know what year it is? And, and you're answering all these things mm -hmm. accurately. And they're like, mm -hmm. okay, Dala, uh, uh, Dr. Willow Jones, yeah, we, we need you to take a seat. We're going to hook you up with an IV, and uh, we're going to take you to the hospital to have your uh, injuries examined. I do one, two, two questions, two questions I can think of. One. Do I feel injured at all? You have been injured. Okay. You took two points of damage. Right, right. Um, oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, the sanity damage. It hurt more than the pain. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, uh, go ahead, though, and make an, make, make an education roll for me. Sixty-eight out of eighty-five. So I passed. That should have hurt a lot more than it did. Hmm. Cool. All you right. Are seemingly tougher than before would be mm. an assumption you could make. Interesting. That is very interesting. Okay. Um, second question. Um, if there is an, uh, it, I want to watch very carefully what sort of um, thing, uh, 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 fluid they hook up to me, and if it does, in fact, to my knowledge, look like IV fluid or it looks like something else. There, there's a lot going on. So they're, you know, put, right. they're putting you on a gurney. They're they're taking you in. They're they're giving you, you know, they're offering pain medication. Uh, so go ahead and make a spot hidden roll. Is that something you're proficient in? Like, do you have any points in there, or is it just a twenty-five? It's just a twenty-five. Okay, make it at half. Okay. 
Oh, if it wasn't at half, it would have been perfect. But nope, I got a 25. Okay. You don't notice anything in particular that looks unusual. I don't notice anything that looks unusual. Okay. Nope. Um, I will um, deny any sort of painkillers or anything. I will take the IV because I don't know exactly how messed up I am right now. Um, they, they say, uh, Doctor Jones. Uh, if if you may, I, I know we do realize you're a professional. Uh, we don't know what blood is yours and what blood is his. Um, we need to get you to a hospital. If you could just lay back and let us do our jobs. Uh. She, hmm, she will consent. Right. So they, <laughs> they shut the doors and they drive you off to the hospital. Doctor Jones, yes. Go ahead and heal your two damage. I hate it. And add ten points to your appearance. Oh, I hate it even more. Good. Graham and Annabelle, as you're driving away, go ahead and make a spot hidden check for you. Both of you. And Graham, uh, Graham I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you make a photography check if you want. Okay. To. Yeah, I'll do that because that makes it. Yes. I'm kind of making that a journal overall journalism style yeah. check. Yeah, that makes it. You both. You pass, Annabelle. I, yeah, I got a thirty-two out of forty. Thirty-two out of forty. And Graham, fifty-two out of sixty for photography. Okay. So you're driving along, and Graham, you turn to look at Annabelle and say, you know. This is the kind of conversation where I feel like we would be followed. Annabelle checks her rearview mirror and says, yep, we're being followed. You notice you're both being followed by a particular vehicle. What it kind is, of vehicle? Um, it's so, if you if understanding of like uh, the concept of a narc, like a police, uh, an all black mm. police car that has um, a siren and such in the front of it, it is one of those. And Graham would know that. Hmm. Graham would... I, I'm not going to aggressively try to, like, speed off, but do one of those things where I'm trying to, like, casually turn corners and, like, put other cars in between us to just try to get away, but not aggressively, so. Gonna try and shake him! <laughs> Go ahead and <laughs> roll a drive check. Roll. Drive check it is. I will spend the luck to make that happen. It's only one. You do establish um, enough distance between you guys where you feel like he's not directly behind you, and you might be able to lose him. All right, it's working. Mm-hmm, it's, it's working. Maturely. Yep, if you want to try it again, make another drive check. I will. This will be a competing one, too. Fifteen. Fifteen. Let's roll off then. Make another roll. All right. It's not very good. That one. Oh, just tell me what the number is. Seventy-two. You're competing directly with the police officer. Seventy-two. On the second one. Seventy-two. As you try to aggressively drive off, well, not not, not, not aggressively. Drive, as you try to crash the drive, you see him drive more aggressively to keep you in his sights. Mm. Let's do one more. Okay. Hmm. Thirty. And um, as he seeks to drive more aggressively, you see he just gets himself into a situation in between two trucks, and you manage to lose him. Fantastic. Where do you go? Probably back to Annabelle's, if I think we're clear, right? Yeah. Annabelle. Good. All right. So you head back to Annabelle's, and what next? Well done, Graham. Thank you. Thank you, I try. Uh, so what's the plan here? Are we going to wait for Willow to call, or discern what information uh, she gave you? Let's go take a look at what uh, was sent to her. Yeah. 
You both watched the video? Yep. Both of you make constitution rolls. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Sorry, what? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Could be worse. Oh. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah. I got 23 out of 50. 68 out of 70. <laughs> you are. You have constitution. Oh. As you finish the video, it's obviously very disturbing. Go ahead and roll. Sanity for me. Oh, oh bless. 16. 48, 48 out of 65. Good. Each of you roll a d4. One. Take one point. Three. Take three points. And you both feel a pulse in your head. Like right, you know that feeling right before you get a headache, the pressure behind your eyes, and then it subsides. Gross! It's a gross video. <laughs> I mean, all it's all pretty bad. Uh, did we just, like, hand her... Did we just, like, send her to the lion's den? Is that what we did? A little bit, yes, but it was either we send her to the, to the lion's den or the lions come a-hunting because it's her license plate in a car full of blood. Yeah, we should have let them come to us, I think. You think? Yeah. They'd be, we'd be on our territory, we'd be on our turf. So... Both of you make an intelligence roll for me. No. 24 out of 60. It's closer than I thought, but no, 74 out of 60. Okay. Annabelle. Yes. You notice that the rats in the video were injected it's the exact same color and type of substance Dr. Jones brought in with her that you put oh, in your safe. God. Great. I will share that with Graham. Mm. And I'm going to go to my safe. You're going to... Gra Graham gonna... backs up. Why? I mean, we we put it in the safe to get it away from from the... from Willow. I don't want to play with it. Look look at it! Oh, what? I don't want to do anything with it. I just want to make sure it's not doing anything in there. Great. He takes a step back. He's like at the <laughs> cusp of the door. As you reach your safe, make yes. a listen check. Okay. Grammy stepped away, so not for you. Yeah. He's in the room, but like at the door. What am I making a listen check? It's a listen okay. check. I had a 15, had a 20. As you're by your safe, you hear. Like a heartbeat? Like something knocking on the door of your safe. I'm gonna look over to Graham. Do you remember inviting anyone over? No, no, why do you ask? Oh, there's something knocking. It'd like to come in. He like looks to the front door. No, in the safe. It's a joke, I'm sorry. Oh. No, I didn't get that. No, don't open. Don't open it. We should probably just get rid of the safe, honestly. Throw it oh, in the I ocean love or this. something. No, no. What do you want to just have? Do you? Would you like a kraken? Is that because that's how you get a kraken? Okay, fair. Well, what do you want to? Do you want to just leave it here and hope for the best? No, it is in my house. There are antiques in this house. There are important things in this house. All right. Well, what's your what's your plan here? What do you want to do with it? 
I don't have a plan. This is a new this is new territory for me. I've never had the call come from inside of the house. Hmm. Well, I don't want to open the safe. You don't nope. want to get rid of the safe. It seems I, we're at an impasse. <laughs> I'm happy to get rid of the safe. I don't know what a, a safe way to get rid of this safe would be. Uh, bury it, chuck it somewhere. That's where my head goes immediately. You really are totally out of your... Place, yeah, I kind of just, you? like, look and go. I'm not really, you know, much for the sticking around like this. You don't connect the dots, do you? Well, I connect the dots very quickly, as many as I can, and then I bail. That's almost worse than the last man that I worked with. Um, I only hear the knocking. I don't hear anything else. All you hear is the knocking. I hate it so much. Is I, I've never come across anything like this before, right? <clears throat> a knocking from inside your safe? <laughs> no. It was a feature when they sold the safe. <laughs> <laughs> or like... Something being created from a, like a, a solution of something? Not offhand. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Make for me. You have points in Cthulhu Mythos from the last time you played, right? You should at least have 10% in it from if you've done one scenario. Where's that? What's that? Under What's climb, that? it says credit rating, then Cthulhu Mythos. I don't have anything in there. Okay, so you have 10% in there because you've okay. done. You have a returning character. Make Cthulhu Mythos roll. That's okay. We'll see. I don't know. Excuse you, sir. Nope, it's 61. You have no idea. You've certainly never experienced anything exactly like this. There are things of it that give you a funky feeling from the hotel in British Columbia, but you can't quite remember. Oh. Oh. I don't know what to do with this spoopy safe now. What about, okay, how about this? Could I possibly either go into my library and look through, I don't know, whatever fucking books I have in there, or do an occult roll to see if I can remember how in the past, if I've ever come across something that needed to be like a tangible bad thing that needed to be gotten rid of. Oh, uh, you're, yeah, more than welcome to do a um, library use roll. I'll, I'll let you do that, or an occult roll, whichever one you'd like to do. Um, before you do that, your phone beeps, and you receive a text message. What does it say? You guys watched the video off your phone, correct? What, uh, no, it would have been off of a computer. Okay, so your computer beeps. beeps. Like, you've got mail. <laughs> Great. Uh... I will look at it from afar. There's a message that pops up. Like a it says, like an email or just a no, like a, an MS DOS kind of thing. Oh no! And you see it begin to type on your computer. Your tiny existence is but a moat of dust. Exceed your reality and become one of us. And you see a Z and a Y. And then your computer pops. And you see smoke coming out of the monitor. Graham, is this what happened to your computer too? 
Uh, not quite the same message, no. This is a very aggressive marketing campaign, apparently. Make a sanity roll for me. Annabelle's no good, very bad day. Well, it's a three, not a seven. I'm fine, 38. Yes, yeah. you, you both don't even take anything. It's old news, computers blowing up after yeah. you watch videos now. <laughs> Good, 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 mm -hmm. good, 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 good. Okay. Um, uh, this is an occult roll. 65 out of 70. 65 out of 70? Yes. What you uh, do gather, and this has to do with a lot more of your information on satyrs that you've looked up before, um, that they're, they're half human, half animal, and the animals kind of change, but ses such beasts... Um, our, our uh, children, the thousand young no! of the Dark Mother. No! And such young need to be fed. I hate it here. <laughs> Shit. And what do mothers feed their children? Sorrow? No. Milk? Or blood, depending on what kind of relationship this is. <laughs> and upon that, uh, Dr. Willow Jones, you arrive at the hospital. They gurney you into just a room and they wash you up with a sponge bath. The, the impact where you hit your head on the side of the car, there's no bruises, no bumps. Um, you feel better than you ever have. You are very fit. Um, and honestly, you, you look in the mirror and you're like, damn, like, it's starting to look good. To some, this would comfort them. To me, it does not. <laughs> so as you're going on, uh, there's a, there's a young, uh, a doctor, right? Uh, few surgeons and the their their younger men. Go ahead and roll a power check for me. Alright. Sixty out of seventy-five. Sixty out of seventy-five, you pass. You look at them and you're like, hmm. Not bad. Mild attraction towards them, but Nothing too unusual. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, this is concerning uh, for um, <laughs> for Doctor Willow Jones. Um, Doctor Willow Jones is not a straight person, so this is an interesting feeling for her, mm -hmm. and so is therefore. Terrifying. Because <laughs> she's putting well, together what the video showed, uh, assuming the test subject was, in fact, the same similar things that are happening, and kind of piecing those together. Just as a background, the sex of the rodents wasn't identified. Okay. Uh, right, right. These happen to be male doctors. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And in, uh, so they, they examine you, and the doctor's like, well, Dr. Jones, I, I, wow, uh, I just have to say, it's a, it's a miracle that not only did you survive such an impactful crash, and uh, the gentleman's next to you head ex exploded, but uh, we can't find a mark on your body, but even according, we don't even see any scars, um, we don't even see a mild irritation, you, you seem absolutely 100% fine, better than fine at that. Your heart rate is great, and uh, you know, for a characteristic, not that you're old, but for someone your age, you're in peak physical condition. It's remarkable. Hmm. You have the heart rate of an Olympic athlete. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Right, there's nothing more we can really do here, uh, but the uh, the police did want to have a few questions for you, if you don't mind waiting. 
Uh, that is fine. Do I have my um? Do I have my phone? Or did they, they have your belongings? Okay. Um. Could I? Um. Could I have my phone? I want to make sure that um, the people I was going to meet know that I'm okay. Um, oh, yeah, of course, absolutely. We'll have a nurse go and uh, fetch them for you. Uh, unfortunately, the police wanted to talk with you first before you uh, reached out to anybody else. Mm. Well, that's that's fantastic. That's fine. All right. Uh, we'll, we'll be um, here if you need us, but we'll, we'll let them in. The doctors leave, and in walks police chief Ted Dawson. And where his jowls were kind of hanging before a little bit, it looks like he's grown a beard, maybe? Um, but it's kind of a little bit of a beard everywhere. You see, like, up on his cheeks and over here, there's, like, a nice pale yellow fur, but over here, kind of towards the beard mark, there's, like, brownish. And his nose seems to have gotten pushed in a little bit more than maybe you realized last time just mm. based off of a little person and he's walking kind of bow-legged and he comes in <sighs> dr jones uh we keep meeting on very strange um and unusual circumstances don't you think the circumstances aren't always aren't the only strange uh things are they? Uh, uh, well, I guess not. I mean, a man's head did explode in your vehicle. Mm -hmm. You care to have any statements about that? Maybe how it happened or... Uh... Oh, I have no idea how it happened. Well, I don't have any conclusive idea how it happened. Uh, it just did. Well, unfortunate for him, maybe. Yes, yes, well, he um... A, he, was a, he was a friend of mine. My condolences. I'm sorry for your loss. Rather unfortunate for... Mr. Ted that uh, things happened the way they did. Well, um, besides that, it seems like you've wrecked another Bugatti. I guess you have a spare. This is all we really needed. Um, see if you had any statements on how it happened. Seems like a supernatural cause, maybe. In effect, he has been living alone. Who knows what he's been doing in his off time, perhaps. Sticking his nose in certain things. Who knows what he got caught up in. Uh, if there's nothing else that you need me for, I do have an appointment to keep today. Car accident was not exactly on my to-do to -do list. Yes, yes, uh, of course, of course, we'll keep you um, under investigation for the time being as we examine the car and the cause of death, autopsy, mm. things like I'm that. I'm sure the cause of death is not a surprise to you. Well... Have you done something different with your hair? You've noticed it. I certainly have, as well as the rest of it. It's not exactly a hard thing to miss. A new lease on life. It's given mm. me a new perspective, maybe even a new look. Well, Doctor, I think that's all we have for right now. We will be in touch, and uh, um, we'll keep you posted with our investigation. And Well... Be careful what you get tangled up in. That's what I'd have to say, as you saw with um, with your friend. Bad things happen um, when maybe you don't know what to do with your time. Have a good day. As he walks out, he's scratching behind his ear. Just look at my hands, my weird webby hands. <laughs> 
Um, as soon as I get my my belongings, my phone, and I'm, I am I am leaving. I am leaving. Yeah. So uh, your belongings are absolutely soaked and Good. covered with blood. Good. So uh, uh, they come up and they're like, uh, "Mr. Uh, Dawson provided you with a T-shirt from the gift shop." Um, and uh, from the doctors here, they left you a prescription. Um, and it's, you know, they, they had it filled at the pharmacy for you already. It's just muscle relaxers and uh, general things. You already know what they are. Uh, muscle relaxers, some painkillers, and a small vial that reads Z-Med Bio on it. Mm-hmm. There's also a note. I would like to read the note, please. See you at six. <laughs> cool. I take all of those things. Uh, and you not, get I don't ingest them. I take them with me. That okay. is a difference. Uh, and I will. I will call. Um, I have Graham's number. That's the first person I would think to call. So I call Graham. Graham, you get a phone call. Hello? Hello, can either of you come pick me up, please? I am at the hospital. I'm fine. I just don't have a car. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I have no problem leaving this house in this current moment. Do you want to uh, take a drive, Annabelle? Yes, I think we'll just leave the baby Kraken behind, and it'll be okay. Sure, yeah. that's, a little, that's a little muffled. Is what? The, there's a what? Oh, we figured out our baby is going to be a Kraken. <laughs> Annabelle left. And he'll hang up. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> he'll hang up and start driving. Great. And uh, you make no issue getting there. And uh, everything's fine. You pick up Dr. Willow Jones. Dr. Willow Jones, go ahead. Um, and before you get into the car, make an appearance check for me. Appearance check. Um, 25 out of 47. Nice. Um, you're radiating, and you're catching the attention of quite a few young men and women mm-hmm. who walk by you. But you've also noticed that, like, as you scratch or rub your face, you feel like, especially under your nose, that, like, your upper part of your jaw is starting to protrude a little bit this way. It's the lower part of your jaw. It's starting to go this way. Okay. Like those okay. cute photos on no. Instagram of mm. girls making the duck face. Good. Great. Love it. Yeah, she's got it. That's exactly it. <laughs> and your ride arrives. I was young once. <laughs> 84 years ago. <laughs> um, what time of day is it by this point? At this point, after your wonderful brunch date, it's probably closer to three o'clock. Okay, after brunch and then a car crash and then however long in the hospital. Yep. Are you? Cool. Is she still? Are you? Is there like blood still everywhere on the bottom? She's person? been wiped off, but you can see the slight outline of blood stains where the blood stopped. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Did we both take of, the Yaris? Yo, both of you uh, look at her. And make a power check. Oh. I ask her on a date. Yay! <laughs> That's what friends are for. <laughs> That's what friends do. <laughs> Six out of seventy, you pass. Yeah. Uh, yeah, forty-three out of eighty. Yeah, she, she's looking good, but yeah, she's looking good. She got wet hands. She's looking oh, no. good. <laughs> You're hot, Dr. Jones. Has anyone ever told you that? No. Do we notice Never? her? Not until recently, no. Do we Do we notice her jaw? No. Okay. I'm, gr- I'm, I'm growing exceedingly more uncomfortable with this entire situation. This oh, is- yes, you are mm. absolutely as part of a giant sacrifice right now. Or right, did you see the something. list? Did you see the list that um, Ted sent me? 
did we didn't look at that, right? No. <laughs> I don't think you did. Nope, not yet. No. We were preoccupied by a baby and a terrible video. Yeah, we watched the video, destroyed her computer. It's really a mess. Oh. There's something that's knocking so from my safe. Yeah, that's, that's very bad. Mm hmm. Got a couple hours before your interview at Zement. <laughs> I really don't know that you want to keep that interview just throwing that out there. I, I, I don't know how much I have a choice in that. Well, I mean, you just don't go. Right. I, I don't know, um, if, uh, I'll have an escort find me somewhere. Seem to be able to find me anywhere. Oh, yes. They'll find you. Mm hmm mm hmm and and the rest of oh, that thought I'm just saying that they would find her but she wouldn't be you know alone rather than literally sending her into the building like really did we really think this was a good idea yes kind of I mean we have to figure out exactly what what's going on I mean if obviously they want to talk to her that bad they have some sort of they want to talk to her because she's one of the children now. What, uh, what, one of, one of the, what, the what? Yeah, I don't think I caught that one either. We should go. Yeah, you probably need a shower anyhow. Yes. Yaris. Yes. Yaris all the way back. <laughs> Yaris all the way home. <laughs> um, I would re recount the, uh, the visit that I had, um, from Chief Dawson. Um, the note that I got. Um, I would also <laughs> give someone else the vial of stuff. Because I don't want it near don't, me right now. We don't need more of this. I don't want it either. To hand it to NFL. <laughs> Thanks. Whoever's touched it, go ahead and make a spot in roll. So it's just all, all around the everyone, entire everyone everybody, everybody, everyone. everybody. Everyone. I got a three. I got a 17. Nice. I got a 10. I got a 10. You notice it. It is not the same thing. Sorry? That she brought with her to your house, Annabelle. What's it look like? Oh. Um, well, the other one looked more like diluted milk. This one looks more like water a little so thicker less, than water less vis is it the same like coloration as no less viscous for sure maybe a slight hint to that milky hue but way way less viscous do you feel the same kind of pull as before i look at it really hard does it does it does it no. Nope. No? Doesn't call to you. No. No? Hmm. I'll hold my hand out for the vial. Can I? Can I? Can I, I just want to. I, I have to say it's very. I don't know how I feel about handing this back to you after you said, no, I don't feel a pull on it at all. Can I just see it really quickly, though? Right. Well, it, it oh, right, right. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to hold on to it for now, and we'll try again in 20 minutes. Hey, Graham. Yes. Where are you driving? Back to Annabelle's. Target. 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 <laughs> Back to Ikea. One more time! Good. Good. Annabelle Good. was the plan for a quick shower before Z-Med bio. Okay. You uh, arrive. What was that, Annabelle? Go ahead. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> you arrive at her house? Are there tentacles coming out of any windows? Not yet. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Just checking. Uh, I will go inside. Okay. 
I will look at the the PDF document thing. You see the names. Oh. Same ones I read off before, and you recognize, of course, you're the only one who recognized Garfield Fox. That 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 in in my past has not been a good face. The one that you're making right now. I know that man. Oh, oh. Uh, you know the notes that I shared with you about the thing in British Columbia. Mm -hmm. That was that was his hotel. It says active next to his name, and below you are in consultation. What do you think? Do you think he's in with these people? Well. Maybe. I don't know if it was necessarily willingly. Um, do I still have his phone number? Yeah. I'm going to call him. Yeah. Sure. Uh, phone rings. <laughs> say I'm sorry, Dave. Send a Zoom link to Dave yeah, Bruno yeah. right now. And, uh, hey. That's a childish voice. Hey. <laughs> You get a voicemail first. Hey, baby. This is Garfield Fox. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I'm glad you gave me a little ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, but uh, unfortunately, I couldn't reach my phone right now, so please leave me your number, your jam, maybe something that you want to talk about, and I'll give you a call. Look. Did I really call the right number? That's <laughs> the voice you used before. Is it? <laughs> Um, I hang up. I don't leave a message. <laughs> After that skillfully done hey, voice a couple in artistic interpretations may have been taken. <laughs> I thought it was pretty similar. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Delightful, but I don't think that was it. <laughs> Amazing. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, he didn't pick up, so, um... No more information to give you. Graham, what are you doing? Uh, currently, I mean, I'm here in this situation. Um, are you in the conversation or are you somewhere in the house? No, I'm, I'm with them. I'd, I'd be with okay. them for this. I will. Uh, I'll. I will give them the. Um. Muggle version of. What's her name and her thousand young? Hmm. I would say welcome to the family, except no, 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 no. Uh, no. no yeah, it's, no. it's not where you want to be. Mm. 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 -mm. Uh, so I'm not sure how to reverse anything that's happening in you. I will need to, I'm not sure how to do that. Well, Probably. see, that is, that is partially perhaps why meeting at la later tonight might, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, listen, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I'm, I'm listening. I'm just saying that. What does he go by now, Dr. Abenshare? That man really wants the whole world to just... Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not meeting with him, technically. No, you're only meeting with his company that he is clearly organized and created to cause the apocalypse or whatever is next. Yes, but they do think Dr. Jones is currently in on it. She's a mem I mean, she's taking the drug. She is a medical professional. If we're going to get any inside information, that's this seems like the best way, doesn't it? Yeah, it just seems uh, outrageously unsafe. Gotcha. Right. Yes. Um, um. My genetics are changing at an increasing rate, and uh, I don't think that safety is really like it's a a, a different. It's a bit skewed at this point. 
Do we have a date on the video that we watched? They said it was something they sent to the FDA for their thing to get approved, so it would have been. No, not that video. No. I don't video. think oh, the FDA. Never, I think the FDA would have seen that. Been like, no, hmm? that video. That video. I was crossed my wire somewhere for never sure. Mind. <laughs> yeah, that was that was hacked. Um, that was taken from the inside. Got um, it. Those, that's amongst their internal research, which was altered and then sent to the FDA. Got it. That's where I got, I got kerfuffled. Okay. So it's probably five to six weeks old. So, doctor. I don't know if you've ever done any genetic studies. Those rats had about 14 minutes before they were no longer rats. So if they had been working on something five to six weeks ago and they've been working on it since, do you think maybe you have a rough estimate about how much longer you have? Hmm. based on what's happening in your body? Uh, is that something I'd be able to, to kind of suss out? Make an education roll for me. And then okay. as she does that, whoever has, does anyone have any points in listening? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Wait, I yet. think so. Nope, nope that's fine. I, don't I do. Yeah. You do? Um, make a listen check for me, Anna. Oh my god, it worked last time. I'm only gonna work this time. Oh no. No, I, I failed critically with a 99. 99! Yeah. Um, you have no idea. Cool. The, okay. The only thing you do know is that the amount of change that happened that quickly within those animals was not a healthy thing. Right. Like, a mm. body couldn't take that. But roll a pow check for me, Dr. Willow Jones. I'm going to spend three luck points and make that pass. Ooh, good call. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. That's what you uh, gather from it. Okay. So, when you spend luck, that's like, that's it. There's yeah, a, there's a finite pool of it, right? There's a finite pool of it for now. If your character survives to another adventure, maybe there's a way to get some back. We'll see. Um, then I'm going to spend two mm -hmm. black points to get this listen check. You hear a car pull up in front of your house and the door shut. Son of a bitch. Mm. Um, we we have company and I don't, I we have company. Mm, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Grab, grab his gun. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Good. Uh, I'm gonna just stand there awkwardly for a moment. I'll try to peek out the window best I can. Peek out the window. Make a spot. Um, you can make a photography check or a spot. No, make a photography check because we're gonna kind of give you that sense of presence 20. rather than trying to find something specific. 20. 20, okay. You see a group of five police officers. They got nice. kind of a belly. Their shoulders are kind of rolled forward. Some are wearing gloves, some aren't. Um, they're pretty beefy though. Like, well, not beefy. A lot of ham on them, I would say. They are some big dudes, big shoulders. Two are walking around one side of the house. Two are walking around the other side of the house. Um, the most normal looking one is staying towards the front. Make for me, um, what do I want to say? Make, make, uh, I don't want to make everything intelligence, but that's where I'm leaning towards. Make me another intelligence sure. check. Yeah, 24. 24. Those other, the other four, they look like pigs. Mm. Oh! Chris. <laughs> I will, uh, you blessed us this night. I will uh, relay the make information. A, make a little brief sanity roll for me as these pig men walk around the outside of this house. Yep, 40 out of 64. Okay, just roll a d4. Okay. Two. Yep. Uh, 
I will relay the information to my companions. Uh, there are some, several police officers, several of them look like they have been, uh, uh, their DNA has been modified, as we so eloquently put earlier, uh, into that of a, uh, pig. Hmm. Oh, so just their natural form, then. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, but like a beef, like a pig that, that hits the gym on occasion. They're, they're big, but also a little beefy. I was talking about that um, uh, 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 as escort kind of situation. I feel like this might be something along those lines. Not really having much of a choice. What? Okay. Is there an attic in my house? You tell me it's your house. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm. She probably has one. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to access it from inside. Probably, maybe. Ever have ever been to an attic? You only access from the outside. You can come visit me then. Oh, awesome. Mm. <laughs> Well, it used to be a barn, so that's not. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's a cottage, so I probably have like a one of those pull-down deals. Sure, I'll give it to you. So I guess we could stay here and wait to have the conversation with these fine folks. Well, or we like, could... they're like surrounding the place, so. Right. Do we want to just stay here then? We could try to run, we could try to fight, we could hide in the attic, we can do whatever we wish. Hiding in the attic is also putting us in a corner, but... Yeah, there's, there's five of them, and I don't know about you, you two, but I don't think I can shoot my way out of this situation. So we're gonna just be okay with this? Well, we could maybe, perhaps, you Willow could talk to them and see what... I mean, if, they, if they're... <laughs> an escort for you. We could mm. trail behind, perhaps, or just see what they want. Play it by I... ear. <laughs> what? What? Okay. What are your? What are your inclinations? Mine. Hey, be either of you. Uh, I'm, I, I want. I, I like the attic idea. I would love to go and find a corner and put my head. Uh, in in the corner and fall asleep and wake up and all of this was a bad dream. That's okay, we'll call. put that like in a at a plan Z because don't see that happening. But um, hmm. Annabelle, I really don't like cops. That's as far as I've gotten in my head. I've never been in this situation. Well, all right. Here, why don't we start with Graham's plan and I have a little talk with them, see if they say anything interesting. Uh, and if I don't like what they say, I just come back in and then we deal with whatever happens. Do you have, uh, Annabelle, do you have any other sort of, you know, armaments or weaponry, perhaps? Like a small, something we could give the good doctor? In I case. have some machetes. <laughs> Great, yes. That's, Perfect. It's exceptionally subtle. That's definitely, for, for this situation... A kitchen knife? That, probably better. Would you like a cleaver, or a butter knife, or perhaps a... Small, uh, I'll just go get a small Annabelle knife. Annabelle Cosgrave, at this point, there is a knock on your door. No, there's not. <laughs> and a hot minute talking it's about what you want to do. Yep. And the police are showing up. Yep. Um, I will go get a small. Doctor Cosgrave, kitchen. Are you home? And I will walk over and hand it to Doctor Jones. And I'm just gonna wait a beat. Doctor Cosgrave. We've had a call. I will. Dr. Cosgrave, your motorcycle is in your driveway. We have all reason to believe you're home. You have 
apparently hacked some sort of server, some sort of cyber crime. Something has been committed. We've been called to investigate the premises. I'm going to look over at the computer and look the at monitor the monitor. turns on. Excuse me? And it says, your health is our passion, Dr. Cosgrave. Oh, suck my dick. And I'm going <laughs> to just, should have gotten rid of the, I knew I should have gotten rid of that. Um, I'm going to point to the, to the computer and like point to it. Oh, it doesn't matter. They're going to get it anyway, aren't they? No, I'm going to okay. I'm going to open the door. Hello. Hi. I'm so sorry. Uh, Dr. Cosgrave, it's uh, sorry to intrude upon uh, the premises, uh, but we're here. We were called on behalf of a Z-Med bio um, saying that there's been a attempt to hack in on their servers. A what? I, it's not exactly my area of expertise, but... Uh, Mine neither, me. actually. But we do have a few questions for you if you would... Uh, Come with us to the station. No, but I'd be happy to answer them here, right now, in this moment. I'm afraid that uh, I'm not the lead expert. I was sent here just to uh, retrieve you and uh, your computer. Do you have like a warrant or a roll, like that? Roll me a law check. Mm. A law check. Call yes, has rules for everything. I wanted to use this all game. Well, <laughs> I don't think this is gonna happen at all. No, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Roll me an intelligence check. Okay. Or education, whichever one you'd like. Uh, 53 out of 60 intelligence. Okay. Well, Dr. Cosgrave, I'm afraid that your uh, thoughts behind how police work works is probably just whatever you've gathered from Law and Order. That's not actually a requirement, uh, depending on the crime that's been committed. You have a feeling it's wrong, but you don't really know all that much. Uh, well, first of all, it's an alleged crime, so at least at least uh, language is at least <laughs> something I do specialize in. So, um, okay. Uh, could you give me a moment, please? I I would like. I need to go get my supposed computer and um, put some shoes on. I'll be waiting right here at the door. Great. You. I'm gonna shut the door and I'm gonna go into my library and grab a laptop. Standing in the kitchen just holding this knife, haven't moved an inch. <laughs> and I will come back and say, okay, well, if I die, please take care of this house. There's a lot of nooks and crannies in here and a lot of really scary stuff. Don't read any of the books in the library. Bye. Good, good luck, I suppose. Okay, and then what happens? My head explodes. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I guess I leave and step outside. Okay. Uh, excuse me, so, uh, Miss, if you would please follow me to my vehicle. Uh, you can take a seat in the back. It's comfortable. We're since you're complying, there doesn't seem to be a need for, for handcuffs or anything like that. So if you could please just relax and enjoy. Can I sit in the front? I get car sick. Uh, make a persuasion check. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, man. So close, but no. No? No. Uh, it's not according to our protocol. Of course, miss. Uh, if you could please sit in the back, uh, uh, we'd appreciate it. Sure. I'll sit in the back, but I'm sitting in the middle. Oh, okay. He sits in the back. And the door locks. 
Great. Feel safe. Yep. Um, go ahead and make for me a spot hidden check. Boy, howdy. Nope. Great. Just locked in a police car. Cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, before he gets in the car, you can see he kind of turns and faces the house. And he makes that symbol again, puts, holds it to his chest. Which Dr. Cosgrave doesn't know, but Dr. Jones would recognize. Then gets in the car and drives. Graham and Dr. Willow Jones, immediately as that happens, you hear as someone is pounding the back door trying to break in. Yikes. Trying to break in. 